Oh, hello there. So the NFL Combine is an opportunity for teams, mainly GMs, scouts, assistant GMs, anybody in the player personnel department and front offices of an NFL team to interview those that will be eligible for the draft. Now, here are the mind boggling questions that have been asked to these potential draftees. Kill me with the music. Yes. Pro Football Talk, the Seahawks had Texas punter Michael Dixon do a staring contest. Wow. I had to see how long I could stare without blinking. I had a couple of attempts. I tried a few techniques looking away from the light. Look away from the light! South Park. Trying to block any sort of wind coming into the eyes. That was a weird process. Alabama running back Bo Scarborough said the craziest question he's gotten so far, no surprise, came from the Browns. Asked if he thought God is an Auburn fan. Answer, I said no. I definitely don't think he is. I mean, do you think he is? There was also uh, edge rusher Marcus Davenport said the strangest question he was asked by a team. If you were a fruit, what kind of fruit would you be? He replied, an apple. Because an apple a day keeps the doctor off. In the words of LeVar Ball, never lost. Now there was also this, Braxton Berrios. Says the weirdest question he was asked by teams were in the Senior Bowl when he was asked, "What is Bitcoin and what is ISIS?" Come back to me for a sec. That that is one of the weirdest questions that you can not only ask, but I also don't know what Bitcoin is. So actually, maybe they were trying to get some insightful information. I don't remember who this was, but in video form, I'm not going to even give it away. Here's what was said. Uh, maybe. Am I getting married in the next six months? <laughs> what did you say? Are you? Are you? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> and then his girlfriend was like, what do you mean we're not getting married? New weirdest combine question for Brandon Dowdy, Western Kentucky. You're on a mountain in Alaska on a bus going 100 miles per hour. Where are you sitting on the bus? Breaking news. I can beep it. Who gives a f- Western Michigan offensive tackle Willie Beaver said the Falcons asked if he'd rather be a cat or a dog. He said dog. This is actually a fair question because as everyone knows, I'm not a cat person. I'm a dog person. I have a great dog named Carl. He's the scruffiest little munchkin I've ever seen. However, cats are smarter than dogs, but they're also, they're also your enemy. What they try to do is make your life a living hell at every single turn. And they also like have a box where they pee and poop. Like I get it, we have a toilet, but at least it goes down a drain. I've seen it on dirty jobs. You have to clean up their like sitting in the sand like poo after a few days. So basically what I'm saying is don't own a cat. Strangest interview question I've heard an NFL team ask a uh, prospect so far. Do you find your mother attractive? What the hell, man? Amazingly, that was asked by Bill Belichick. Strangest question, when did you lose your virginity? He opted not to answer. That's fine. He's super Christian. Baylor offensive tackle Spencer Drango, great name. Said one team at the combine asked, would you share your internet history with us? Drango, sure, I search for a lot of food. Quote. Hayden Plinky, a tight end from UTEP, would you rather be a cat or a dog? But here's the thing, I said I was neutral because I really felt like I had my hands tied. Like, are we talking a lion or a tiger? Are we talking a house cat? Are we talking a lab or a bear dog? Because then I'm a bear dog. I mean, this took like 12 turns just to get to that answer. And then there was this one from Kentucky's John Toth. I think it was the Cardinals coach who started off by asking me, what color is chocolate? Brown? Then he was like, what colors melted chocolate? I think I said dark brown, and he said, no, don't overthink it. So I said brown, then he said, what colors butter? And what colors melted butter? What colors snow? What colors melted snow? I said white. Then he said, nope, melted snow is clear. So what does that make snow? I was like, clear? He said, yep. And that was kind of the icebreaker. Imagine if you were asked that on a Tinder date. Uh, Mike Freeman says, Asian says he believes more political questions at the combine because teams are trying to gauge if they would have a Kaepernick situation. That shows how out of touch a lot of these men are. Moving on. This is my favorite. 
Dolphins GM Jeff Ireland asked Des Bryant about his family life. My dad was a pimp. What did your mom do for a living? She worked for my dad. Your mom was a prostitute? No, she wasn't a prostitute. Ooh. I mean, it could not get more awkward. I would love to know what the questions were asked afterwards. It's like she was in the accounting department. I had a coach draw up a play for me, then he turned the paper over and started talking to me about just some random stuff, trying to get my mind off of what we just did. Then he said, all right, now, I want you to draw that play up again. <laughs> what is going on here? Someone asked me what kind of alcohol I like to drink. When I told them that I hadn't been drinking leading up to the combine, they were like, well, what did you drink before that? They wouldn't let me not answer. That was probably one of the weirder questions I got. According to what I've compiled, that is the most normal questions that he received. True story, one player was asked during combine interviews if he was afraid of clowns. I don't understand, like, is this? I get it, you wanna ask insightful questions? How is a clown, the mom question, like melted chocolate? How are any of these, do it's like, oh! He answered the melted chocolate question. We gotta pick him number one overall. Like I get it. You want to you want to view these guys as like your potential partner for whatever their tenure will be. So you want to see if they have a good head on your shoulders. On their shoulders. I have no idea how any of this applies, but that is where the NFL lies. Lies within the realm of asking potential draftees questions. What was the weirdest? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to TYT Sports.